hello everyone we are initiating a new series that is PIH pregnancy induced hypertension and the very first video in this series should be how to measure the blood pressure and what is exactly the blood pressure what is the concept behind blood pressure i think this is the very basic when you understand the total concept of pih now we have a heart our heart is a pump it pumps blood in a pipe system that is called arteries and vein the heart pumps the blood in the arteries it goes to the tissues and returns back to the heart with the help of veins now when we measure the blood pressure what we exactly measure we measure the pressure of blood column inside the main arteries which are the main arteries brachial arteries and popliteal arteries so if this uh, artery or brachial artery what we do here we just put a cuff surrounding the artery in the artery we have this blood column which have a pressure on the wall of this artery but what we do we just put a cuff surrounding the artery and we constrict the artery with the help of cuff the very basic figure of a sphygmomanometer is this this is a sphygmomanometer mercury sphygmomanometer but exactly how it works is like here in the sphygmomanometer what we have we have a cuff the cuff inside the cuff we have a bladder bladder is nothing but a pouch rubbery pouch which can withhold the air pressurized air what we uh, do to pressure the air we use this bulb to pressure the air inside this bladder and from the uh, another tube this air goes to the sphygmomanometer so what exactly happens is when we push the air into this bladder this bladder will constrict the artery with the help of cuff so and also simultaneously measuring the pressure in the cuff with the help of this sphygmomanometer sphygmomanometer is nothing but a device which measures the pressure with the help of column of mercury in mm total 300 mm of pressure is there in a in a, a standard sphygmomanometer so we measure the pressure at two times one during the systole of the heart and during the diastole of the heart during systole it's called systolic bp during diastole it's called diastolic bp so how exactly we measure the pressure when we talk about in our video we only concentrate on the concepts rather than just showing it practically what we do here this is the artery you can see here and we have a we put a cuff constrict in the artery and we are uh, putting our stethoscope here and hearing with us now now this column is there in this column we have action what you hear in the stethoscope which is which is put in on the artery here and why it is happening now when you start applying the cuff when you apply the cuff and you hear the stethoscope you hear nothing because the blood is easily flowing from the artery without much resistance anything whether it is a blood fluid form or air form passes through a constricted pipe 
it makes sound just like a flute but in this scenario when we don't have we we haven't applied any pressure on the artery artery is capable enough to accommodate the systolic blood column so there will be no such resistance no such a big resistance so that the generally the sound doesn't come now we start applying the pressure in the cuff with the help of the bulb now what happens is the artery starts constricting so when the blood has to pass through a constricted space it creates sound these sounds are called cortocoff sound here so now now you uh, uh, what what actually happened blood has to pass through a restricted artery that is wind principle is there now we increase more and more pressure so what going to happen the sound is going to disappear why why the sound has to disappear because the pressure because the pressure now is so much more that no blood can actually pass through the artery because artery is totally constricted and blood cannot pass to the artery so whenever no blood can pass then there should be no voice so when we achieve a pressure in the cuff which can constrict the artery at such level that no blood can pass even during systole it is called systolic pressure now what you do now you slowly release the pressure remember you cannot just put a so much of pressure in the cuff for long time because in this while time the the organ is not getting its blood supply because you have restricted the blood supply this is very dangerous when you don't remove the cuff okay now you start slowing release the pressure releasing the pressure so when the pressure in the cuff will equalize the pressure in the maximum pressure in the artery that is systolic pressure the blood will start passing through the artery and it will create sound at this point the start point in the pressure the cuff is the at, uh, at the start point of pressure in the cuff is equal to the pressure in the blood vessel so this is called systolic blood pressure now you keep releasing the pressure slowly with opening of the valve you will hear cortocop sounds because the blood is still passing through the constricted area and when the blood can easily pass through the area when the artery is no more constricted when the blood is not more, not more producing sound at that cut point we measure the diastolic bb and the cortocop sound is like 4 or 5 because if you release more pressure the blood will easily pass through without resistance and voice so this is the diastolic pressure you are measuring here now we had some pictures this is a uh, typical uh, mercury sphygmomanometer this is a bulb this is the pipe this is a cuff this is a column of mercury now we have seen this figure how to apply a cuff cuff should be applied uh, uh, at the level of heart see and uh, the 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 tubes that are coming out should be on medial side and one one and half inch above the brachial plex uh, brachial lig uh, ligament now 
this is the brachial artery where we are applying the cuff here it is now these are the cotcop sounds cotcop sounds are four or five in uh, number so we have first of small sound then the larger one then it becomes slight uh, softer and then again becomes larger and then disappears we measure the diastolic pressure at sound number 5 so this is how we do the blood pressure thank you